And we're back in Stoneshard Adventurers. Going for the third dungeon. Feeling semi confident. Uh, nine hours on top of 21. So. Ooh, three <laughs> and then six. It's harder than it looks. Uh, oh, we might want to buy some food before we leave. that. We fill the water skin. Then take stock. Where are we going? To the third dungeon would be the Chapel of the Guiding Star. It's left or west. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think I hit my Windows key. Now, are we ready for this? Hmm. It's tough to say. Uh, we will probably level during the dungeon, so we will be level 5 when we hit... Oh, here's the Acrimony. You know what, I'm gonna go back and deposit the Acrimony right away. That was too easy. Um, or, and we could just then go and complete a quest, oh, whoops, um, and then go and sleep again, because now we've wasted a ton of turns just walk, walking around doing nothing, <laughs> so, let's see if we do it like that, oh, I have finished your task, Giving us a bit of reputation with Osbrook. Uh, I don't know. I think we have reached the first level. Yeah, indeed. Oh, and that lowers our uh, prices, which I think means that the repair also gets cheaper. I'm not 100% sure about that one. I think I posed a question before and no one really knew the answer. Also, I haven't... I mean, I could just test it, right? So, it's entirely my own fault, not knowing. Sleep. Nine hours. Good. And that means... Now, that costs money, which is always the trade-off. Uh, but I think worth it for having the Vigor buff during the dungeon. And it doesn't cost that much money. I think if it's like... Let's say it's two bytes of the... smoked ham, then I don't know. <laughs> that actually doesn't help. Because uh, how much is that then? I think about 50 gold maybe. Hornet honey. Cow traps cost 22. Alright. Smoke bomb, 123, okay, and para, Perigoric Caltrops. Let's buy some Caltrops and experiment with that. Potentially really good, I think. And if you can reuse the same stack, then for 22 gold, that's definitely worth it. Now, I think they will avoid the cat traps like they would a normal trap. Uh, the enemies are supposed to, if I like put a bear trap down in front of them, while inside a range of vision, they, they are supposed to be aware of that trap and avoid it. I think it should be the same for cat traps, right? So either we throw them before the, the fight even begins, or we... The other thing is if we are fighting in like a doorway, we can just throw it, the cat traps down, down in the doorway and now they cannot avoid it. Oh, oh. Ooh. See, uh, there is a quest to kill a moose, but mo moose means mice? Moose. Uh, uh, rumored for being really strong. I think last time I tried killing a moose, I died. Uh, hopefully they have been nerfed a little because we are gonna try. Here. 
uh, I'm doing this wrong. I have a long range arrow that we should be using. Alright. 18 is 5%. Okay. I'm sure we can do it. It would be nice if we could hit a little bit more. Now we're switching ammunition. Come on, just one more hit. Sigh. So here's another way to use the caltrops. I come down here, go over there. Um, take a shot. Then we will throw the caltrops here. And now he's avoiding it. But that's going to be a detour for him to walk around, so I think it's fine. Give me another shot. Probably not hitting anything. I kind of feel like running now. Having been so unlucky, we don't we didn't get an early advantage or anything here. God damn it. Can what if I throw the run to a loose, right? Let's just Oh, we get the counter. It's like a truck. Forty-three. Oh, we're getting lucky. Nice. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we don't. We don't have anything to skin it. I don't think I have anything, any way to skin it. Oh no. Yeah. God damn it. I mean, that's probably worth going back to town for, right? To to pick up. What would we? What would we do? We would pick up a dagger or something. Hmm. Or we can go to the dungeon and try to remember to pass by it on the way back. It should stay here. Until I uh, save and reload the game. At least. Oh, and he says, right, perfect. We are at a crossing, so here. Now, yeah. I mean, we, we did it. We killed the moose. It did hit hard, and I think we could have lost if we were unlucky, so... That's at what, level 4? Yeah. Moves are tough, man. Let me spend a reward here, just in case we run into some baddies. We're finding enough fully ward that I think we can sacrifice another one. Such ominous music. Foreboding. And now, I mean, now we got the unholy resistance in here as well. That's really, really nice with the extra experience gain and healing efficiency. Makes me a little bit more confident again. I I don't know that we can beat the boss though. Oh. Should not be a problem, just don't want to run in and aggro both of them at once. Man, we need to put another point in perception. So many arrows and so few hits. Alright then, another one. I miss Durbin, the archer build. Alright. Ambush, oh. I don't see anyone right now. But 
Hello? Can't scream ambush like that, Velmir. There's no one around. There we go. And one up there. Okay. If it's just these low tier enemies, then it's not a big deal. Oh, and we get a crit. Perfect. Good. Nice. He's running away. Nice. Okay. Now we're hitting. It might just be that wolves have really high dodge chance. They're definitely performing really well. Oh, and the lumberjack axe can be used to skin. So, I don't think we're going back for it. Good. So much flea ward. Huh. We don't need it. Burdock gives us pure health restoration, which is nice. And so I think, yeah, we should. This one's worth so little. I'm sure we'll find another sharp weapon in the dungeon. We're gonna take the cautious approach again this time. And be ready to abandon dungeon if, uh, if I feel like it's getting too intense. the bodies out here. Get out that bow. Don't have to re reload this one. Another good reason to use the bow. Oh. Whips himself. Militia flail is worth some money, I, as far as I recall, but we'll be looting on the way out. We should do that more, just wait with looting until we're done with the dungeon. Come on. doesn't count as looting, and this is a dead end. I'll take this. So otherwise they might forget about it. Uh, get out the bow. Don't forget to check the traps. Like that one. Okay, we might be able to use this to our advantage. Luring someone in here and then throwing something on to it. This shouldn't be a problem. Assuming I can hit. I'll be picking it up a bit. This guy's a bit tougher. I believe he has a dash. Yes. We have to check. Uh, even though I was 100% sure that he used to have a dash, you know, they could have changed it. Sometimes they change abilities on people and stuff. So, switch here. Good. Elusiveness means we run away. Good. 
Blood craze. Right, but he's almost dead. He's doing what? Vampiric blood. Alright. And he spends too much time using abilities in combat. That's not how you want to do it. Uh, no. That's not what I wanted to use one. So. And yes, we're looting here because we're not coming back this way. Now don't step on this trap. But do test the trap probably, right? See what kind of trap it is. That didn't work, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure it would, but you never know. Uh, what else can we throw at the trap then? We throw a light, I think. Okay. That's fine. They thought about everything. Oh no. Ah, excuse me, Miss Quick. God damn it. Hmm. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. Weak enemy. Another dead end. Cheese. Cheese is good loot. Sure, it's if we find a cheese in this dungeon, it's gonna be a good old stinky boy, the best kind. All right, uh, the militia flail is worth an amount of money, so we should definitely bring it. And again, we should come back this way. Yeah, enemies. Check the traps. We could shout. Yeah, I think he's coming. Good. Ah, and it's a red. Nice. What's the rat doing? Huh. Ooh, now we got a real guy coming in. Okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, here we can use the caltrops. Ah, except no, we can't reach the door. That would have been nice. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Uh, or run. We could run. Let me get a hit. I don't know if he is gonna follow. Okay, we are gonna rest up here. Hmm. Oh, bleed resistance for an amount of turns here. Okay, we can stack that to make our chances a little bit better. Also, eat. This is energy restoration, poison resistance, intoxication resistance. Here, health restoration over time. So blueberries, then the burdock, then drink. Oh, we're doing 40% already. Okay, maybe... Oh! Stunned for two turns. Yikes. Oh, we got second wind in the middle of that. Okay. 
Nice. And that's the level up. Yeah, no kidding, that could that could have gone so wrong. So bad, so poorly. We could have died. But we got through it. Like I said, we want to put a point in perception, but then another point in strength. And I mean, perception, it's the accuracy is eh, do we need it, but crit chance, crit chance, always good. Can't argue against it. So yes, we, we take it. And I keep gushing over that crit chance, even though it doesn't do anything for us yet, but it will later, later, later on, it will pay off tenfold. We are running out of water already. This looks like the boss room. See if we can clear the guards first. Maybe I'll hit sometime this year. Okay, never mind. It's just a bad. Good. Now I want to uh, aggro the next guy without aggroing the boss. Good. Nice. Now, um, I really want to use the Caltrops, but in case they get consumed by him stepping on him, I want to do it on the boss instead, so we will not be using him right now. I don't mean this guy we had in the bag anyway, right? So. I don't want to pick up the mace, I want to step into the tile, thank you. No boss in sight. It's definitely boss room. And it's you. Dadum the Medicaster. What a name. With all the healing abilities. Fun. I have a plan. First of all, we remove the door. Because I can hit that with my bow if it's still in, in play. And now, oh, okay, we, we do not have full health. That's definitely a mistake. Got all this flea ward that we are gonna drop anyway. Let's just keep going. Uh, because I'm pretty sure the the time bonus is here, the healing efficiency and the bleed resistance, that stacks for every one of you uh, I consume uh, for 60 turns from uh, the point where each one of them is consumed. Which means we have... Let me just check that I'm not wrong about that. The, our bleed resistance should be through the roof right now. Resistance 88, yeah. That's pretty high. And healing efficiency also should be pretty damn high at 200%, which will combo with the vivifying essence if we drink one during the fight. So that makes me feel pretty confident about this pet now. Oh, and a crit, making him immobilized. Okay. Might even kill him before he comes in. 33% already. Okay. So if we don't get to te test the Caltrops here, it ended up not mattering. Oh no, there's another enemy! I'm feeling that this is a really good run. All we need now is to get that freaking treatise so we can get some more skills. Oh, and we got the Fang Emblem, right? That might be the quest item. Not a lot of loot in this dungeon. It's a very short one. It's too bad. 
That won't make us rich. I, we did not get a sharp weapon, so we need to remember to pick up that axe on the way back so we can skin that moose. And that should help our profit market a little bit at least. Maybe even the wolves. Was that really everything? Sure. Okay. Huh. I talk these dungeons up so much and then they kind of... They don't... They aren't as punishing as, as they could be. Players are worth a good amount of money. Oh, we found a gold nugget. I didn't even need to notice. Nice. This is the lumberjack axe. We have plenty of space. Oh, we, the silver topaz ring is one of the better ones, right? Control resistance and pain resistance. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Velmir's ring is out there. Oh. Oh, it gets, gives us quick chance. Oh. I still don't think it's as good as the Silver Topaz Ring. I don't know about that one. I I might change my mind. We're not going to sell the Vilnius Ring. There's the wolf here. We're gonna have more loot in a second from the moose, so we can probably only carry one pelt. Right now we can carry it, so let's take it. Just in case we run into someone, let me make sure we have the right weapon equipped. Up the bow. Be a silly way to die. So how many skill points? We have two skill points available. And that's... You know, as I say that we are not quite on level with the dungeons. And that, that part of that is because I, I, I would be... Way much... I would be way stronger if we could... Uh, uh, spend our skill points on something helpful, right? We are missing two abilities that would help in combat. It's a huge deal. But, now that we have completed two or uh, three quests in Osbrook, we can fast travel to Manshire, and then I believe that we will gain access to that uh, treatise salesman. We haven't spent too much time on this episode, we'll do it in this episode, which I believe it's been a short, pretty short one right now, so it should happen. The moose antlers, the fatty meat, and the fatty meat, the moose pelt is just too big and cumbersome, I don't know. Oh, well, the, we don't need the lumberjack axe anymore, so hold on. Moose pelt. And then drop splint. So close. Oh, the leeches. Moose pelt and raw sinew meat. Good. Oh yeah, it's been a very short episode. So we can do all the, the town management both in Osbrook and the... and Manchire and hopefully before the end of this episode I should have enough money to repair the Elven Brigadine. Knock on wood. First up, we are gonna go and quest.
then pop the throat. Do you have any work for me? A bison pelt and horns, right? Not the moose. So it's the guy in Manshire that wants the moose antlers, but I believe he also wants deer antlers. He wants both. So we still need to get deer antlers, but they are way easier to get than moose antlers, so that's fine. Two headed maces treat as one. Dang it. Uh, Eric over this. The pelt sell for more by the tailor. Anything to do here then? No. I know, okay. The alcohol sells for more here. Did you refresh your money, sir? Yes, you did. So, we'll be back in a second to sell you some more stuff. Hair. Oh, and uh, I want to buy a purse in here just in case. Uncommon. Not not that special. Buy me a purse and sell the pelts. Good. And we're not spending money on anything else, obviously, because we are hoping eight thousand five hundred. So what are we going down here for? A splint? Sure. Yeah, we do not have enough money, but we're not done yet. Food in here. Sort the inventory. Take out all the books. Let me just go up and check. I'm pretty sure we can travel. Oh no. Oh. Uh, am I missing something? I thought it was three treatises that you needed to do in order to go to Manshire. Maybe I have to ask him in here? He says it's okay, and that I've done the thing. So what say ye veteran? Yeah, he's he's left now. Okay, good. Check if there's not more stuff. Right, this needs to be sold. We'll bring the Elven Brigandine. And we did have a test to, to make, didn't we? So let me just do that right now. The thing that we are doing, we're gonna go to the smith here. And say, how much do you want for fixing the armor? 3400. So then we go to uh, Manshire and check with the smith there to see if it's different. Because we don't have reputation in Manshire yet. And so, if my theory is correct, he would want more for fixing the. armor here in town. Oh right, this is not how it works. We need to go down and talk to the town elder before we get access to the castle. And we, inside that castle is where we find that treatise guy, I think. The troll quest. Go 
forward. This way. Oh. Yes. Oh, they've changed the layout in here, I think. Uh, so, 2 times 7, 7 times 17, add 2, 3 carries over, huh? Who are you? Did that rhyme? I think it does, yeah. I'm a mercenary, looking for the governor. Right, the mercenary. Weber is upstairs. Now, uh, would you kindly stop bothering me? I've already lost count. Uh, mercenary, listen. Would you perhaps be interested in buying books, treatises? We have heaps of them here in the actual library, and the faster I sell the load, the better. Let me have a look. Ooh, oh, kidding. This is so nice. Finally, we can buy books. He did, I was wondering if he would want to uh, uh, buy my books for me at a better price than the merchant, maybe, but clearly he doesn't want books. He wants to get rid of books. Okay, uh, that's fine. Maze 3 is 2, 2 and Maze 3 is 2. Yeah, I, I, of course we are buying this. Even if that makes me not able to repair the armor right now, I don't think there's a contest that we need this thing here. And now we get troll quest. Good. <laughs> then off to the merchant. Oh, shops are closed. Yeah, alright, we have to sleep until next day then. We also had some stuff lying around here, like the Potion of Curiosity, that we should bring back with us. Good morning. Oh. Go and get some water. Out of my way! Throw the water skin. Drink. Now we'll check the price over here. Oh! Now it's the same. Okay. So, reputation, I think we can conclude that doesn't affect the repair price. And I don't think we will make 3400 right now. Not even with the 600 we will pay for the book. So, next episode, maybe. Hopefully. Let's see, oh, what do you take for this? No, no, no. Okay, I think we are done. We're not done in, in Osbrook, so we'll be going back. And next episode is the Skeleton Dungeon, and so normally the Skeleton Dungeon is really scary, but they specifically have a weakness for bludgeoning weapons. So this run here should be just fine to go and visit some Skeletons. In fact, looking forward to it. Velmius Ring, I think it It'll over overshadow. Oh, yeah! It'll overshadow the other ring when we get that new skill, uh, blow after blow. And you know what? Boom! Killing enemies or killing enemies with critical. Ah, see, I didn't realize that. It, I thought it was hitting enemies with critical hits, and this ability skill kind of. Okay, so it only. It only really works in fights versus multiple enemies. I did not realize that. Dang it. All right. Well, it's done. It's done. And the next one up here is Skull Crusher. Target. Uh, this is a rush 
So a small charge, rush towards the target to deliver a strike to the head with extra stun chance, very nice. And body power damage, while under the effect of Mighty Swing, grants the, uh, the attack 75% stacker chance and burns the percentage of the target's energy equal to the percentage of its missing health. Okay. Stacker chance is amazing, and stun chance obviously is always good. 45% stun chance, hell yeah. Um, no, no doubt this is a great skill. Then Bone Breaker. We then later slaughter the stands. Sounds good to me. And then, yeah. Oh, so then I changed my mind again. Apparently crit isn't that important, like I just said. So, I don't know. We'll save it for now. The potion we will bring and drink before the skeleton dungeon. Everything else here seems like we're ready to go. The moose antlers needs to be put in here. And that's it. Good. Sleep for... Let's just do the nine hours right now, so we have to do the start of the next episode. And with that, as always, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vilmis Run. I swear, I, I, I guess I can't swear, but I'm almost certain that next next episode we will be equipping the Elven Brigandine. Um, but hold, don't hold me to it. I, I can only do it if we find enough money. Hopefully, knock on wood. See you then. Bye-bye.